Today, we're going to show you how simple and straightforward it is to configure and quote any OEM product using SE Advantage. We are going to begin by clicking the New Quote button. Simply fill out the required information in the red asterisk. Choose the project type of industrial OEM machine and choose your sales rep. After you click save, you will be brought into the brand new SE Advantage quote. From the quote screen, you can add your items via catalog number. So I'm just going to copy and paste some standard catalog numbers into the product number field and add the quantity. I don't have to do a designation, but you can if you want to. I'm going to click save and I'm going to do this a few more times. As you can see, it is now loaded into my bill of material slash line item grid. All right, now we're going to go in and add a couple items from our product selector. I'm going to choose my first one as an MTZ breaker. I go to breaker, ACB power breakers, and I'm going to go through and add where it needs to be installed. It's going to be a draw out with the cradle and fill out the rest of the information. It's going to be ACB, AC rated, 480 volt, and I'm going to put this as 2000 amp breaker. 3 pole, make sure it's MTZ, and I think I'll do an LSIG. And we'll continue through just creating the rest of those breaker options. I'm going to click Save and Submit. And that's now being sent to SE Advantage. At this point, I'm going to create a new selector item. I'm going to go to choose another product selector, type in LV for the Low Voltage Motor Control Center, click on that, and I'm going to build my Ready to Wire or RTW MCC. I need to type in my OEM password, and then my product type will be an industrial package M6. I'm going to go with a 1200 amp MCC here. I'm going to do copper tin, 15 inch lineup depth, and my control wire. I'll just choose 16 0 wire gauge. All right, now I'm going to choose my incoming and my mains and feeders. I'm going to choose my main, and this is just getting an idea of what you can do. I'm sure many of you do this every single day, and so I'm just going to make it 1200 amp main because it's 1200 amp MCC. And I think I'll throw in a drive here just so that we can round out the demo. Once I have everything configured the way I would like, I can move over to the right hand side of the screen, click refresh on availability and pricing and see what my choices have done to affect not only the list price, but also the availability of delivery. Once I see the impact, I can refresh it at any point, anytime I make changes, but for right now, I'm just going to hit save and submit. I'm going to go to my friend, Mr. Refresh. I'm going to refresh my browser, which is right next to the URL or the internet address right there. And please make sure that you are using Google Chrome. Just a quick side note, always please make sure you're using Google Chrome as your internet browser. As you can see, my MTZ breaker has come back. I click on the caret next to the container line and it shows me the parts and pieces that go into it. All right, for the MCC, it hasn't come back yet, so I'm just gonna click Refresh again and scroll all the way down. And I have my Model 6 MCC. I click on that container line to get a little bit more information. I'm gonna roll my cursor over, and yes, it looks good. All right, at this point, I have all the items that I need, so let me send this up to pricing. And depending on your account type, there are various ways to send up for pricing. 
Either way, it will be rapid pricing available through SE Advantage. Once you are notified that pricing has come back, the status will become authorized and you can begin to do some other things with your quote. I'm at this point going to go ahead and create my submittal package. To do that, I'm going to first do my checkbox and then click action for selected items. And I'm going to retrieve the drawings in PDF format. We'll come back a little bit later to talk about how to put it into AutoCAD DWG format. But for right now, I'm doing everything in PDF. It's going to be sent out to our selector and I'm just going to hit refresh. After a minute or two, everything comes back. I'm looking for that green icon and I see it right there. So now I'm going to go to quote actions and click print documents. Once I'm in the print documents quote actions, I am now going to make sure that I'm at document type bomb and drawings. I don't have to put a price here, but I am going to total authorize and select the drawings that I want and click save as PDF. Once it's finished loading, it will show up in this pop-up and I simply click the link to get it to display in the lower left hand corner of the screen. I click on that and I have my PDF document that has the bill of material. and the drawing I selected. Again, this is a PDF, so I have, you can see the front elevation drawings, show the spacing, and it will continue down. I can show the wiring and all those items for this motor control center. Once I'm done, I simply close the tab and click return to quote, because at this point I want to download that MCC drawing as a DWG. I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did beforehand to get the PDF. I'm going to scroll down, click the checkbox on the left hand side of the item, action for selected menu, and click retrieve documents. And instead of PDF, I'm going to choose DWG and click request. Again, it's going to take a couple minutes, so I'm just simply going to hit refresh. The green document has come back. I'm going to click the item number so that I can see all the different documents and attachments that are part of that particular item. And notice I have both the PDF that we did beforehand and the zip file that will contain my DWGs. I click the link, click download, and that will go into the left hand corner of your screen and you now have your DWGs. At this point, you have gone through, you have created a quote, you've added line items from catalog numbers. And you've also added line items for selector. There's a lot more that you can do. I encourage you to go ahead and click on the walk me menu in the lower center of your screen so that you will be able to go through and learn a lot more about what the capabilities of SE Advantage are. Until then, happy quoting.